Welcome to the Surgical Technology Basic Surgical Procedures Lab. Today, we will learn how to perform a surgical hand scrub utilizing the counted brush stroke method. To perform this skill, you will need the following equipment and supplies. Access to a surgical scrub sink. A surgical scrub brush with nail cleaner. For this demonstration, a surgical scrub brush impregnated with povidone iodine-based solution will be used. Before beginning this procedure, it will be necessary to ensure that the following steps are performed. Don all necessary personal protective equipment, or PPE. Roll up the sleeves of the scrub top as necessary to ensure that the OR attire stays dry during the scrub. Inspect the fingers, hands, and arms to ensure that the integrity of the skin is not compromised. The skin should be free from cuts, abrasions, infection, and other open sores or wounds. The nail should also be inspected. Nail length should not exceed the tip of the finger. All jewelry should also be removed. Secure the scrub brush and open the package. Place the package in a convenient location on the back of the scrub sink or in another accessible location. Turn on the water using the appropriate time setting. Adjust the water temperature and pressure as necessary. Rinse hands and arms under running water. Perform a basic hand wash. Remember to rub and lather arms to two inches above the elbows. Upon completion of the hand wash, rinsing is optional. Retrieve the nail cleaner from the scrub brush package. Clean the nails under running water and remove all dirt and debris. Discard the nail cleaner. Retrieve the scrub brush from the sink and discard the package. Wet the scrub brush under running water and squeeze to lather the scrub solution. Additional solution may be obtained as necessary. Ensure proper posture and positioning at the scrub sink by keeping the arms out and within view, maintaining a safe and appropriate distance from all non-sterile items and surfaces such as the sink and faucet and avoiding contact with OR attire or PPE. It may be necessary to stand away from the sink and lean forward to obtain proper positioning. Once the scrub begins, the arms must remain bent with the wrist, maintain at a level above the elbows to ensure that water and scrub solution containing microorganisms and other contaminants flow away from the fingers and hands. Begin with the nails of the non-dominant hand. The finger should be positioned so that each fingertip is pointed outward and contacts the bristles of the brush. A stroke is defined as one complete back and forth motion. Apply 30 full strokes to the fingertips and nails. Once the scrubbing of the nails is completed, move to the thumb of the same hand. Each finger should be visually broken into four planes, the palmer, dorsal, and left and right sides. Scrub the thumb using 10 strokes for each of the four planes. Next, move to the interdigital space between the thumb and index finger. Apply 10 even strokes to this area. Continue scrubbing each of the remaining fingers and interdigital spaces in the same fashion.
Once the fingers are scrubbed, move to the hand. Like the fingers, the hand is visually broken into four planes. Using circular motions, apply ten strokes to each of the four planes of the hand. Overlap strokes slightly. Next, continue to the arm. Like the fingers in hand, the arm is divided into four separate planes and ten strokes are evenly applied to each. Additionally, the length of the arm will be divided into three sections and each of these sections will be scrubbed separately working from distal to proximal. As with the hand, use circular motions to achieve even and complete strokes. Continue to scrub to two inches above the elbow. Once completed, pass a surgical scrub brush to the opposite hand. It may be necessary to apply additional soap and water to the brush to ensure a good lather. Begin with the nails and continue the surgical scrub to two inches above the elbow. Be sure to scrub this arm using the same methods employed on the opposite side. Remember to maintain correct positioning and posture throughout the scrub to avoid contact with contaminated items or surfaces and keep hands within appropriate zone. If contamination occurs, repeat the steps of the surgical hand scrub. When finished with this arm, discard the scrub brush. After completing the surgical hand scrub, rinse the arms thoroughly by passing them under the running water. It is important that hazards such as the faucet, scrub solution dispenser, and sides of the sink are visualized and avoided. Each pass must be made in a single direction from fingertips to elbow to avoid contamination. The arms must remain bent with the fingers extended and the wrist at a level higher than the elbows to ensure that the water flows away from the fingertips and off the elbows. Lean in when rinsing and avoid touching OR attire or PPE to the sink. Wet scrubs or lead gowns may cause strike-through contamination once the sterile gown is donned.
When rinsing is complete, allow the excess water to drip into the sink without shaking the arms. Proceed to the operating room with elbows bent and hands between mid-chest and waist level. Be careful not to touch anything. This concludes the video module for the surgical hand scrub. Remember that the examples and illustrations used in this video were designed for use in the basic surgical procedures lab. Although the theory and processes are based on national standards, some variations may be necessary depending on your clinical site. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments regarding the video, please contact Douglas Hughes at the email shown. Thank you.